There's the good ship literacy headed out to sea. And uh, well, let's see what direction he's going. The helmsman would check the compass that tells us which way we're headed. And we're going out to sea to visit the dolphins is what we'll be doing. And the captain has a, a Aesop fable this morning that has to do with dolphins. Let's see if it has anything to do with you. The lion and the dolphin. A lion roaming by the seashore saw a dolphin lift up his head out of the waves and asked him to contract an alliance with him. Ah, an alliance between a dolphin and a lion. <laughs> it was saying that of all the animals, they ought to be best friends since the one was the king of the beast, that's the lion, on the earth, and the other was a sovereign ruler of the inhabitants of the ocean. That's the dolphin. Well, the dolphin gladly consented to this request. Not long after the lion had combat with a wild bull and called on the dolphin to help him, the dolphin, though quite willing to give him assistance, was unable to do so as he could not by any means reach the land. The lion abused him as a traitor. The dolphin replied, Oh, no, 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 my friend, blame not me, but nature, which while giving me the sovereignty of the sea, had quite denied me the power of living on the land. So that's the story of the lion and the dolphin that we sailed out to sea. Well, what's the moral of the story? Okay, let everyone stick to his own element. So as long as we're sailing on a ship, we're in the element of the ocean and in our element, and we can go where a ship can go. But, oh, but not, not flying in the air like birds. We don't have that. So lads and lasses, there are all kinds of lessons you can learn in books, as you well know, because with books, you can go anywhere you want to go and be anything you want to be anytime you want to do it. So run down in a little hole to get a book, come up and sit down and read it to one another.